Hey guys, this is Alex in Automotive and More. So today we're going to cover another simple yet great modification for this 4Runner. And that modification is going to be addressing the skid plate. So we are going to be replacing this with a uh, TRD skid plate. Now, uh, the little twist to this is not going to be the OEM TRD skid plate. It's going to be a uh, skid plate that's kind of a replica of the TRD one, but made by a company called um, Car Trim Home. So this skid plate is going to have a little cover that's going to let you access the the oil filter. That way you can take it out without taking the whole oil filter, which these can kind of be in a, a little bit of a pain in the ass when you do them in the driveway. So I'm really excited about that. And also, since this Forerunner is basically, this is the Lunar Rock, every single accessory on it is uh, black. The emblems are black and everything. We're going to do it with a uh, black skid plate. So I'll keep you guys updated and I will let you know. So this is what we have here. This is the black TRD skid plate for a Forerunner with Without the KDSS, they do make a version of this that is for the KDSS 4Runners, which I believe the OEM does not have an option for that. That will just be like this part here. It's trimmed off. So, magical thing, main reason I went with this one, other than the color, which is black, again, the OEM ones only come silver, is this cover so you remove this cover these four bolts and you have access to your oil filter you don't have to remove the the, the whole skid plate you also have a choice in colors on well i'll go all over the choices this is obviously the red trd um lettering um they are just 3m taped and they have uh, some little prongs that go through the back just to guide them so you can't mess up putting those uh those letters in there but i think it looks great so options when you buy these um unlike the oem trd one you can get these in either silver or black for the skid plate i think the black is going to look absolutely great with this uh trd off-road uh i already swapped out the bumper valence i have a video on that to black um everything else is blacked out on it so silver or black then the letters you can go with either red or black so you have a couple custom options there to choose from uh and make it look however you want so i was either between doing the black and red or the silver and black but i think the black and red uh is going to look sweet if you want something to be a lot more conservative you can also do you know black on black and it'll be very subtle uh and less uh less of a call out to the trd uh skid plate so what do you guys think of that so installation should be pretty easy should be a a quick and easy bolt on uh, i'm going to remove all the bolts including these uh anti seize them um this is aluminum I believe it's a quarter inch thick so i that's the exact same that the oem trd skid plate is and we'll get this on there and see how it goes all right guys so either with kdss or uh, without KD kdss it looks like it has a little bit different instructions so in my case uh that i don't have kdss looks like i'll be removing those four bolts in a circle and i'll be leaving the two bolts that are here uh pointed by the red arrows um that does change if it is a kdss truck so do pay attention to the instructions all right guys i have the skid plate there and a nice soft surface so it doesn't get scratched easy and accessible i already took off all the hardware that i needed to take there it looks ugly as hell with no skid plate give me a better glimpse all the bolts that i need to remove are, are removed now all i have to do is uh present present it and screw it on don't forget about these little rubber grommets they hold everything in place uh while you're doing it and we'll go to the next step and guys we are all done overall pretty straightforward no hiccups and i think that absolutely looks great i'm gonna get it off the ramps and back it up and see how it looks 
Yep, I don't know about you guys. I don't know if the sun's helping, but I think that looks fucking great. I'm happy with it. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Would you guys rather go with the OEM TRD Pro one or uh, this car trim home replica one with uh, some added features and some added options? Let me know what you guys think and uh, comment if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.